climate change affects agriculture by changing the variability of climate, the, the occurrence of droughts, the occurrence of floods, and then also in the long term changing the, the temperatures and in some cases rising, in some cases decreasing, which will change agricultural production systems and people's livelihoods. Uh, agriculture is one of the biggest sources of emissions for that causes climate change through uh, methane emissions from livestock production, uh, carbon emissions from conversion of agricultural lands, deforestation, and also um, rice production. Uh, agriculture has a tremendous potential to mitigate emissions, to reduce emissions, and to sequester carbon, which is basically pulling carbon back. It's the opposite of emissions. And it's this can be done in a low-cost way that is very much linked to improving people's livelihoods, and it can be done quickly. And climate scientists are telling us that we need to act quickly in order to avoid the worst impacts of climate change. So therefore, if we um, introduce improved systems of production, agricultural farming systems, uh, better ways of managing fertilizers and water, this can have you know, not only a uh, positive impact on farmers' incomes, but also a way to reduce emissions. Um, in order to field, feed the world in 2050, we know that we need to have at least an increase of 70% in food production to, to meet increasing demands. That, re that will require changes and improvements in farming systems. There's more than one way that those improvements could be done. If we choose ways that are low-emission pathways that also increase the resilience, the, the ability of these farming systems to cope with increased droughts, shocks, and changes in, in climate, then we very much can reach um, both the goal of feeding the world to 2050 and reducing or improving the capacity of the agricultural sector to mitigate climate change.